Hi everyone, we're going to use the magnificent background of the Epsom Downs today to kind of bring you up to speed with the project that we've been mentioning for a few weeks now. Vic and I have been like talking about it and we've been alluding to it and some preparation have been kind of underway and uh, I think it's time for us now to share what we're going to do. So as for the title, which we'll probably will give it away already, um, Vic and I have been registered for the Malay Rally, the Great Malay Rally, organized by a company called Malay London. For those who don't know, Malay London is a company that does some really good canvas cotton luggage for motorcycles and they also have a range of clothing, but I feel like they're getting more and more known for the events that they organize because they are really recreating or embracing a bike culture that's been lost for a while and bringing it back to life a little bit like Bike Shed have been doing also with their events over the past years. Uh, so we have been in contact with Malé for, for a few years now, like two years ago we went to the Malé Beach Race in Margate. If you've never been, it is quite the spectacle. Uh, and we invite you to go and, you know, be a spectator. And if you are crazy enough, like register your bike to go race on the beach against just as crazy people uh, around you. But it's just a great experience. It's a lot of fun. It's a very good vibe. Uh, and we really enjoyed our stay there. And uh, we went there for a couple of days and did the DGR in Margate as well. Um, and then through that, we discovered the universe of Malay. And uh, some of the things they do um, is uh, rallies. So they organize a, a few rallies every year. So one is a rally that goes across some of the nicest uh, mountain passes in the Alps and they go from Austria to Monaco. Uh, and the other one, the uh, original one, I guess, is, um, is going from the bottom of the UK all the way uh, to the top of Scotland, making it the longest and craziest and greatest uh, motorcycle rally in the UK. So we'll subscribe to that and this is the event we're going to be taking part uh, in June of this year. So with all that said, like this is why, you know, in the course of the next few months, uh, Vic and I are going to be showing mostly things we do to prepare for, um, for that event. So uh, we're going to be talking about the gear, for instance, uh, we're going to be talking about you know longer rides and I'm getting used to our bikes and getting used to kind of be on the seat on the seat for a much longer time um, and we're going to try to take you along for the journey with us and that's uh, that's very much the, the goal so you know I never ridden the interceptor for more than 150 miles maybe tops in one go uh, and we are going to start like going on longer rides trying to explore some of the I guess landmarks of um, motorcycle venues across across the United Kingdom. So we shared a few things around bike shed in the past, but we're going to be talking around talking about other places. We're thinking about going to Deus Lodge, uh, recently open near Bournemouth, uh, and we're also going to try to go on longer rides. Uh, more specifically, uh, one we have in mind is going all the way to Wales uh, for a motor camping weekend. Uh, and a visit to a Baffle House um, in, in the process of that. So, without without being said, like we just need to kind of ride more, get more experience with our bikes, and get used to uh, kind of see what works and what doesn't work in our system. You know, when it comes to luggage, trying different setups, see how we feel, um, and um, and what we're thinking about modifying on our bikes in preparation for that rally. So we're very excited about this and uh we can't wait we can't wait really we have literally been talking about this every weekend thinking about oh what else do we need um we we have a good camera setup now our helmets are good we have a good charging setup we just need to think about what type of gear we want to take with us but also like what kind of roads you know we need to practice on like it's going on the rally is mostly small air roads mostly b roads uh, and we spoke to somebody who did a rally a couple of years ago and he told us that across 1500 miles in six days the average speed is not higher than 35 miles per hour so you know we were bracing ourselves for what that means like and what that means is six to eight hours a day on in the saddle 
uh, enjoying the most amazing scenery that the UK roads had to offer. Uh, and we can trust the organizers to have like really put together that list of roads and that you know route I guess for us to kind of follow to be the most amazing one. So this is this is mostly it, and this is going to be taking most of our attention for the next yeah for the next couple of months until until kind of June comes. Um, so you know I don't know have you ever done those things? Have you ever done? motorcycle rallies um, and when we say rally here like don't get me wrong we're not talking about a race this is more in the spirit in line with the spirit of like what classic cars historic car rallies could be it's more about regularity it's more about making sure you go from checkpoint to checkpoint and and so on and so forth and i think there is a way for for people to be ranked in a certain order but that secret recipe is known only to the organizers so at the end they'll tell you well you were within you know the benchmark times that we thought you you should be in and if you did and the one who get the closest I guess get a price or get recognition for being number one but the spirit is very much what prevails here and and so that's what we're excited about it's like it's a no pressure event where the camaraderie and the fact of being glamping with a hundred other riders every night having Still access to hot showers and very nice food in some of the most breathtaking sceneries the UK has to offer is very much what the excitement is all about. Uh, so yeah, if you have some some tips and tricks, if you don't know about Rally, please like you know get in touch. Tell us tell us what you think, what you've done, what you like, what you didn't like, things to be aware of. We've been told about you know making sure we have insect repellents, for instance, because Scotland is famous for that uh, in the summertime and. But really, we, we, we have no experience with that. So uh, we're very excited. We are not scared at all, but we are a little bit like, obviously, curious to kind of see what else we're going to experience beyond the scenery, the camaraderie and everything else. Um, and for Vic and I, it's going to be the longest time we will spend with our bikes um, so far. So, you know, we need to complete a few things. I want to I wanna practice shooting and filming whilst enjoying riding because I think what's going to be important is the journaling, like journaling this experience. And so that's what I want to do very much. So but there you go, guys. But, um, you know, let me know if you have any questions about it. Uh, I think there might still be some uh, some spaces left. So I'll, I'll put a link in the description as well if you want to kind of look it up. But uh, until next time, thank you very much for all your comments. Uh, it's so great to see also so many female riders um, asking big some questions about her, her experience and, and everything else. We have a lot of couples like us, like uh, coming to the channel, subscribing and, and asking questions. This is uh, very much uh, something we appreciate. So thank you for everything and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye bye.